So, our house 21 here again. And this is really quick. I'm just. We spend a lot of time talking about fiberglass bodies or composite reinforced bodies here. So, here I just want to just show really briefly. You know, I. At the last update that Kyle and I did together, I showed that my little I beams came up and they dumped a little for the little path right around this area, but there was still a little full point in here. So to remedy that, I went ahead and used the same method and I extended the I-beams out all the way down into the actual body of the car, which is much, much stiffer. And as a result, this thing is, I, I wish there was a way for me to show strength on a video, but I can't. But this thing is, Kyle, you cannot drop an apple on the back. Okay, but basically, this thing is it's almost like a solid, it's like a solid piece of hard plastic. So, hello my dear. My wife just walked up. So, but now, basically the load path goes all the way from the tip down through and around for where the, um, for where the window is. And basically dumps the load from the front of the body into the strong rear section of the body. So there is, to say there is no flex here is the understatement of the century. I'm pushing down with probably about two, three, four pounds of force and there's no deflection here at all. So my only concern now is that I may have made it so strong that it's now brittle. But the cool thing is that even though it's really strong, and this is a, a, this is a feature of composites anyway, um, even though this thing is very strong in this direction, it still has a decent amount of torsional rigidity. So Kyle's demonstrating. So twist it a little bit. You can see it still flexes. So it can bend and distort to absorb certain types of impacts. But if you try to bend it in a straight, it's very, 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 very strong. Oh, and Kyle wanted me to point out this weirdness so look at this body right. okay I'll, point it. I'll come around this way so see the body is cut so everything is perfectly flat however this line on the back is crooked this is straight this is crooked this is straight that's crooked that was bothering the heck out of me but basically hey, you See if you can kind of see on here. So basically the way this body was molded, it was twist, it basically molded in with a little bit of a twist. So it's not perfectly symmetrical. So if you look right here, that line's not parallel. It's kind of off at a couple of degrees. So as a result, you know, when I made this little panel here, I couldn't figure out why this line didn't line up perfectly flush well, when I had this off the, off the car. You know, I could see that there was a strange angle there, but it works, it's right. It's just weird, it makes my head hurt. But again, these are not precision designed or precision manufactured pieces. They're for the most part just made to look cool, to look cute. And most people never even do anything that's remotely like what we're doing with these things. So they don't need to have millimeters of precision. You know, for the type of thing that I'm doing now, I want to be a little bit more, um, let's just say more particular. But that's all we have to say about that. This is a little quick update. Guys, always remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram? Instagram? Uh, yeah, Instagram. Okay, let me try that again. Remember to check me out on Facebook and Instagram. And, okay, Mr. Crammer. All right, and uh, also remember to like, comment, subscribe. Check me out. Send me a message. Let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know what you're thinking. All right, guys. Remember, remember the mantra: fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, and do it all over again. As you see, I'm breaking, I'm fixing, I'm doing it all over again, and I still think this thing's beautiful, even with some little dings. All right, peace.